गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज ग्रेट ट्वेल्व केमिस्ट्री प्रिपरेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिपरेशन वंस अगेन लेट अस सी अ सिंपल मेथड हाउ टू रिमेंबर द प्रिपरेशन मेथड्स द निमोनिक फॉर दिस इज पेन एट ग्राउंड A simple statement: a pen is present or a pen is at the ground. Now, for A alone, mention three here. So we know this method. Expanding that, P E N triple A P and the G. So these are the eight methods of preparation of carboxylic acids. First one, P stands for. primary alcohols and primary aldehydes that means we can prepare carboxylic acids from primary alcohol as well as primary aldehydes second one e stands for esters from esters we can prepare n stands for nitriles now 3a acyl halides and anhydrides next alkenes alkyl benzene from alkyl benzene next t so 1 comma 1 comma 1 trihalo alkene derivatives so from this we can prepare carboxylic acids now the last one g stands for Grignard reagents. So, using this mnemonic, we can identify eight methods of preparation. Now, let us discuss in detail. First one, from primary alcohols as well as aldehydes. For any preparation method, for any preparation method. let us write general equation what is the general equation r c h 2 o h in presence of oxidizing agents like km no 4 r k 2 c r 2 o 7 so this can be in acidic or alkaline medium but k 2 c r 2 o 7 is used in acidic medium so what do you get here we will get aldehyde now in the second step again the same condition in the presence of oxidizing agents we will get carboxylic acid this is called as general equation now let us see examples now example 1 r is methyl group let us take methyl group substituting that so this is ethanol in the same condition we will get ch3cho nothing but acetaldehyde under same condition you get acetic acid writing the iupac name this is ethanol and this is ethanol and this is ethanoic acid so this is first example let us take the second example r is ethyl group substituting r as c2h5 under same condition so three carbons therefore prop alcohol ol gives you c2h5cho nothing but propanol and in the next step c2h5coh so propanoic acid so hope you are understanding this now example 3 let us take r is equal to phenyl group that is c6h5 let us write
phenyl group CH2 OH and you know this is called as benzyl alcohol so in the presence of oxidizing agents in the place of R we get benzaldehyde and in the second step again in the presence of oxidizing agents you will get benzoic acid so hope you have understood this so general equation alcohol converts to aldehyde and aldehyde converts to carboxylic acid these are the three examples what we have taken now in the second one that is by taking primary aldehyde how can you prepare carboxylic acid See, the reaction is very simple. If you take primary aldehyde, primary aldehyde in the presence of mild oxidizing agents, that is Tollens reagent, will be converted into carboxylic acid. Now, let us take R is equal to in the first example methyl group. So, we are discussing about first example. So acetaldehyde in the presence of mild oxidizing agent that is Tollens reagent converts into acetic acid. Now example 2 R is equal to C6H5 So benzaldehyde in the presence of Tollens reagent converts into benzoic acid so this is our first method of preparation of carboxylic acid now the second method of preparation using esters so either you can use mineral acid in the presence of mineral acid or you can use a base here so two methods are possible now let us see the general equation so ester hydrolysis that is in presence of water acidic medium will give you carboxylic acid plus alcohol now let us take examples first one if R is methyl group and R dash is ethyl group so what will be the products by substituting we get CH3COO C2H5 so nothing but ethyl ethanoate plus HOH now what happens you have C2H5 and OH in acidic medium so we will get first CH3COOH and second one is C2H5OH so you get acetic acid as well as ethyl alcohol now let us take second example r is phenyl group c6h5 r dash is methyl group once again by substituting o and ch3 so this is methyl benzoate see in the nomenclature of ester we have already discussed plus hoh now one product is alcohol the other one is so benzoic acid so hope you have understood this so using acid that is mineral acid from ester uh, by hydrolysis you can get carboxylic acid along with alcohol now let us see the second method second method already you know Saponification we have discussed many times. That is nothing but formation of soap. So what is the method? If you take CH3, COO, CH3. Nothing but ester. We can write like this. Common name. Uh, methyl acetate plus NaOH. 
Now we know Na is plus, OH is minus. So in alkaline medium, what will happen? Na plus will be added here and CH3OH is formed. So we get CH3COO Na plus methane. So what is the name of this compound you are getting? Sodium acetate and this is nothing but methanol. Common name we have written. Sodium acetate. Now in the second step, treatment with mineral acid. Let us take HCl. So we can write H plus and Cl minus. This is plus and this is minus. So sodium chloride is formed and the carboxylic acid acetic acid is produced plus NaCl so from sodium acetate in presence of HCl you will get ethanoic acid or common name is acetic acid so we have discussed the two methods the remaining six methods we can discuss in the next lecture hope you have understood this thank you so much